question 2 a part 1 write equation for the following reaction sodium and oxygen so we know that it will form the sodium oxide so it's a uh, sodium with oxygen form this sodium oxide so remember it's Na2O okay we just balance it so this is the equation very easy and uh, sulfur and oxygen so you uh, you form sulfur dioxide uh, try not to give uh, sulfur trioxide because when the sulfur get burned it will always form SO2 SO3 can be formed when there is a catalyst like the one that in the contact process right so you only give this equation part 2 draw a dot cross uh, diagram uh, to show the species present in the aluminum oxide Okay, so first you need to know uh, aluminum oxide is an ionic compound so means the electrons from the aluminum will donate to the oxygen and aluminum will form the cation and the oxygens will form oxide okay that's their nature so aluminum uh, because there, uh, there are two atoms there here so means uh, if you donate uh, six electrons out if you want to draw the full structure this is the one so uh, for aluminium uh, you no need to really show any valence electron there because the valence electrons of the aluminium is has been donated to the oxygen to form oxide so you just need to put the aluminium with the charge without any valence electron Okay, so now for this uh, oxygen, because there are three oxygens share the six electrons from the aluminum. Uh, so first, for each of these oxygen, you need to draw the, the six dot here, means it's the electrons in the oxygens itself. And the two cross here is the electrons from the aluminum. So these two, these two, and these two so they are from the two aluminium uh, atom okay so once you complete that remember to put the charge so aluminium is three positive each and oxygen means now oxide so it will be two negative each so this is a full uh, dot and cross diagram uh, for this aluminium oxide part three the maximum oxidation state of the pure three elements in the oxide okay, is varies across the period. State and explain the variation. Okay, so first you need to state. So oxidation state increases. This is the first statement. Okay, means across the period, you can see that the oxidation number or oxidation state uh, for this uh, uh, Pyrrhotry elements, so they are, they actually increases from positive one, positive two, three, four, five, six, seven. And from here you can link to their valence electron. Okay, because the sodium is group one, and magnesium group two, aluminum thirteen, fourteen, and so on. So sodium is has one valence electron. Magnesium two valence electron, aluminum three valence electron, and so on. So therefore, the oxidation states of these period three elements is the one that uh, determines the uh, oxidation state. Okay, so uh, your explanation it should be uh, as the numbers of valence electrons, uh, which can be used to share increases. So it's always shared with others, right? Part B, H2O reacts with the both inorganic and organic compound. Okay, part one completes table two point one. Um, so the first one, pyrrhotry oxide uh, that produce the magnesium hydroxide, uh, it must be magnesium oxide. Okay, so this is an equation, magnesium oxide with water, form the magnesium hydroxide. 
and the pH of the solution uh, always you need to put around 10 so this is a standard pH okay, for this magnesium hydroxide remember this and the phosphorus oxide when it reacts with water so it will form the phosphoric acid okay, so this is the equation phosphorus oxide with water form this H3PO4 pH of the solution uh, you can put uh, 1 to 2 normally we put 2 so there is a range uh, you can put 1 or 2 part 2 write an equation for the reactions of the this uh, CH3CN uh, the ethane nitro uh, with the H2O in acidic condition so first uh, when this uh, uh, ethane nitrile is uh, undergo hydrolysis uh, this is hydrolysis because uh, with H2O and acid when this uh, compound or this nitrile undergo hydrolysis uh, the CN triple bond will break and the carbon here will form carboxylic acid COOH and the nitrogens will form uh, the ammonia so uh, that's how it should be uh, so therefore the products will be ethanoic acid okay, because the CH3 COOH form ethanoic acid and another one is uh, nitrogen here form ammonia okay ammonia uh, because there is a acid there acidic condition the ammonia is a base will gain a proton here to form ammonium so therefore another product it must be ammonium so once you get this you need just need to balance it so needs two h2o and one h plus only right to form these two products part three draw the structures of the two alcohol form in the reaction show in this equation one uh, equation one obviously uh, with the steam the these are propene uh, with steam and the h2po4 it will form this uh, alcohol so this is the hydration of the cc double bond or the alkene so this is how it looks like the propene so it will undergo hydration so it can form two products so it can form this propane 2 o or it can form propane 1 o uh, so it depends um, so the h2o now is added uh, to this uh, cc double bond right to form these two alcohol and uh, once you understand uh, this reaction and the products form then you can put inside these two boxes so this is a propane 2 o uh, from this structure you should know is uh, CH3 uh, this is the, uh, this skeleton formula is given in the mark scheme right so uh, you should know this is CH3 CH OH CH3 okay, again CH3 CH OH CH3 for the this uh, propane 1O right propane 1O uh, so it's uh, CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. Part 4. Explain why alcohol less acidic than water. So this one, uh, you need to use the, uh, the alkyl groups or the ethyl groups in the, this ethanol. Okay, I use the ethanol as example because it's just uh, saying that alcohols uh, it can be any alcohols but uh, the examples now I, I gave is the ethanol so because the alcohol they have the alkyl group the alkyl group is has electron donating nature uh, in the in the mask scheme there is another answer called positive inductive effect uh, for me it's better to use electron donating effects it's more clear so because the alkyl group is electron donating means it will push electrons to others 
and eventually it will increase the electrons density on this OH bond this one OH bond and therefore we can say that the OH bond is get strengthened means it becomes stronger stronger means uh, it's hard to break and it, it is less likely to undergo uh, dissociation so therefore it forms lesser uh, hydrogen ion okay there is one one explanation uh, you can explain the alkoxides that produce so once the uh, this uh, ethanol uh, is dissociate it will form this ethoxide uh, we generally we can say that is alkoxide alkane oxide and this ethoxide uh, because this ethyl group or this alkyl group is electron donating so you push electrons to this oxide to this uh, oxygen or this anion uh, and eventually if you increase the electrons density as well and this oxide or this uh, anion is more likely or more readily to gain the H plus means the H plus eventually is lesser so when the H plus is lesser means it's less acidic so that's what you need to explain so that's why we have this answer alkyl group in alcohol they are electron donating which strengthen OH bond or you can say uh, is increased electron density on oxygen this one oxygen in the alkoxide which make it more likely to accept H plus part C figure 2.1 shows the boiling point of H2O and uh, other group 16 hydrates okay so from here there are two comparison the first comparison is this uh, H2S H2SE and H2TE uh, let's go to the question then uh, we'll discuss uh, further okay part one explain the trend in the boiling points of group 16 hydrates from this H2S to H2TE means now we are going to focus uh, on this part uh, the this uh, the last three h2s h2se and h2te okay so first for these three compound uh, we know that they are uh, the polar compound polar molecules and they are having pd pd forces uh, pd pd means permanent dipole permanent dipole so therefore we cannot use the permanent dipole uh, for to explain it because it's a similar uh, intermolecular force so what we need to use for this uh, boiling point because we, we we can actually see that the boiling point increases so why the boiling point increases and they have the same uh, id means uh, same pdpd yeah because they are polar molecules right they have pdpd okay so the boiling point that increase now is must because of another attraction so the other attraction that you must use is the IDID. IDID means uh, instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces, which is caused by the numbers of electron, eventually the size. So from this H2S to H2SE, H2TE is actually down the group. So the size is getting larger and therefore electrons number is more or we can say that the electrons number is more the size is getting larger and the id id eventually is stronger the the instantaneous dipole induced dipole uh, because of the extra id id then the boiling point increases so this is the one that you need to discuss not the pdpd so that's why okay, we have this answer uh, so from this this one down the group the numbers of electrons increases eventually the instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces is stronger therefore it needs more energy to overcome these forces now, so you need to focus on the extra id id when down the group part two 
explain why boiling point of the H2O is much higher than H2S. Okay, let's compare. Uh, now, this is the comparison. Just compare the H2O and the H2S. Okay, obviously the H2O boiling point is much higher than the H2S. Uh, then, now you can use the, the different uh, intermolecular force. Okay, the H2O we know that uh, is having the hydrogen bond which is the strongest uh, intermolecular force or when the was force and the H2S is just a PDPD so that's why they have the difference okay, so what you need to answer is this of course you no need to draw the diagram just show you how the bondings to be for the H2O okay they're having the hydrogen bond okay between the molecules um, so the oxygens with hydrogen okay these hydrogens will form hydrogen bond with the lone pair on another atom right so it's a uh, strongest when uh, when the was force or intermolecular force but the h2s uh, is just having the permanent dipole permanent dipole forces okay which is weaker so you just need to explain this one because h2o is has the hydrogen bond and it is much stronger than the pdpd forces in the h2s okay that's all Thank you.